Your name? Again, Jacob. Oh. Jacob Gordon, Jacob. co-founder and CMO of Artifon. Cool. And it's Artifon, like Bambi's a fawn. I think I said it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no E at the end, so that's why it's, it's not like phone, because there's no E. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back um, to the geek.com gift and tout program. I'm Jordan Miner. I'm still wearing this coat. Um, <laughs> as you may have seen in the video before this. And I'm joined here with Jacob Gordon, co founder of Artifon, makers of fine musical gadgets like <laughs> the Instrument One. Why don't you tell us what this is? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is indeed the Instrument One. Uh, we call this a musical multi-instrument. So that just means you have one instrument that you can play as you choose. Um, you can play it like a guitar, a violin, a piano, even a set of drum pads, and then you can combine all of these ingredients to design your own instruments or to choose your own musical creative adventure, mm -hmm. if you will. So who, who is this for? Why, why would someone want to get this? Yeah, well, it's, uh, we, we say that it's really for, for anybody who wants to explore their musical creativity. It's a little hubristic to say something's for ages 8 to right. 80, but high. yeah, uh, that's, that's really what we're going for. So um, if you are a person who... And I know you, you have one in your possession that you've been playing with, and I'd be really curious to see what you've been doing with it. Yeah, but we'll all be. So. <laughs> if you come at an instrument like a guitar player, you can play it like a guitar. If violin is more your thing... Your frets can go away, you very can slide neat, around classy. between notes, yeah, and you can get your sort of cello sounds all the way up to violin. So this is an interesting futuristic hybrid of the string family. Uh, if piano is more of your mode... Uh, You have piano notes all laid out in a grid, a little different than a typical black and white piano keyboard. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to ba make beats and things like that, you have a set of drum pads, 12 pads, all lined up in a row. And these can make any kind of sound you'd want them to make. Donald Glover would have a field day with this. <laughs> well, once he's, before he dies. Yeah. So all in one dang thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and so those are your basics, but like I said, we've got a bunch of sounds in here so you can combine. If so this is hooked up to the app? Yes, so this is a connected device. It plugs into your iOS device. We have an app for it that you can download. You can also plug it into your laptop, your Mac, or your PC, and you can use our software, or if you want to go more pro, you can plug it into things like GarageBand for multi-tracking, or if you're a little bit further along with things like Logic and Pro Tools and Ableton Live, it plugs into all that stuff. So too. it's a MIDI controller essentially. It speaks the MIDI language. Yeah, unlike a lot of MIDI controllers, you know, it has a battery built in, it has speakers built in, so it's a little bit more like a self contained instrument. You know, you just have this one cable runs straight in, it's an iOS approved device, so USB lightning connector. But yes, under the hood, it's a MIDI controller. Nice. Sweet. So can you give us uh, some, some background, I guess, on the development of this? So this is the first product mm -hmm. from Artifone, I believe. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what, what, what was the, the, the process of developing it? Absolutely. Well, we've been working on it a while. This is the first time that it's on the market. Mm -hmm. I think today is actually the last day to get free shipping and order it and get it by so Christmas. So go now. To right put on now, my salesperson hat. Yes. Uh, I think up until the 20th, you can still get it by Christmas. Uh, but so we've been working on this. This has been sort of in the oven for a while. We launched it as a Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. last spring. It raised 1.3 million from something like 3,400. It's like the most funded, or one of the most funded. For a musical instrument, yeah. it's the most funded on any crowdfunding platform. Excellent. Uh, in fact, most funded is a music creation concept on crowdfunding, and and really, the, I think part of the reason that it really uh, worked for people is. We're trying to take those traditional musical familiar things like strumming, tapping, bowing mm -hmm. that we know and love from traditional instruments, but give it the kind of friendliness, accessibility, familiarity that we really love about our gadgets and our, and our mobile technologies. Mm -hmm. you know, just plug it in. Uh, it's got its it's got its own battery inside. Because right, other MIDI controllers are either just like a keyboard or like just some sort of box with buttons on it. So to have that familiarity yeah. for people who play other instruments and just to take the plug and play, take it out of the box experience. Right. Traditionally, a MIDI controller is not going to be that. It's a component in a larger ecosystem of like signal chain music making, which for most people is just like. Not right. So, yeah, so you, so you want to get people who either know nothing about music, or people like me who maybe have some musical experience, but kind of lapsed. Like we, we've talked before about this. And yeah. It was very. It was very cool to get like to kind of get reconnected with what I liked about music and like composition and performance. Sure. Um, 
very quickly with us. That was, that was what most impressed me about it. So. Yeah, I remember the first time we hung out. Uh, this, so you can plug headphones. There's so speakers in it, of course. Yes, one so on either end. Can't hear, people can't hear you very, like, Yeah, struggling. you can plug headphones in, and, you know, and it's, it's all in stereo, and you can sort of get lost in that inner creative experience, which is, which is sort of a big part of, of just the creative confidence of exploring music, which is such a big part of our philosophy. We want people to have a creative toolkit that they choose how they want to use and they're you know saying like oh, I want to I want to play pads but I want it to sound like a synthesizer or like a I want organic a guitar instrument. that makes saxophone noises or I want a piano that plays yeah. vaporwave right I mean here's your guitar that plays saxophone noises cool you know and then it's up to you to sort of see see how you turn that into something nice. creative and satisfying so you're giving people opportunities to use this in like museums i believe or like so <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple relationships with museums interestingly okay. enough i will say that one of the thrills of of 2016 was being invited to the museum of modern art where they had a exhibit of mod make, called making music modern and it was like classic guitars and beautiful pieces of design and rock posters and brian eno's music nice. for airports being played with a plate glass window as a resonating panel. Yes. And uh, this wasn't on display, but they did ask us to come in and like literally stand on the museum podium mm -hmm. during, uh, during uh, business hours and like give a demo and play. Nice. So it sounds like the reception that people dig it or? Totally dug it. Nice. Totally dug it. And uh, it was very interesting to see the sort of family tree lined up of musical innovation through the years. I mean, it really is, I feel like we're part of this, uh, this evolution of what creative tools can do to let people express themselves through sound. Nice. I think we have a question. Oh, yeah. Can you play Careless Whisper? <laughs> I can, right now, on the spot. I can whisper carelessly, but I don't know that song. <laughs> but, the, but someone theoretically could. Some, someone theoretically why could don't play that, anything wasn't that, they want That person to. should buy one for themselves, teach themselves how to use it, and then In make fact, a video. With my email is jacob at artifon.com. Send me an email, and we'll figure out how to get you playing that song. What can you play? <laughs> There are people yelling from behind the set here. <laughs> uh, I like to, I like to, so my favorite thing is like, I come from a, I grew up playing guitars that's, and that's kind of what's four track most recorders and cool things. about this, like the, bringing that method performance to a MIDI controller. It's one of the most interesting and new things that it does, for right. sure. And there's so many people who played guitars in like garage bands growing up who are now messing around with beats and synthesizers and sequencers, and to bring that kind of string playing guitar and bass technique mm -hmm. over into the digital world That's super cool. is pretty rad. Yeah, and It should be like the new, in schools, they should, instead of like recorders, they should have this, if they stop slashing budgets. All about it, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, it's in left-handed mode. So it has an accelerometer if you're a lefty. Uh, it retunes, so it knows which way you're holding it. It also means we can use the accelerometer to do all kinds of crazy things in the future. Now, I've been messing around <laughs> with this here in the office for a few, uh, few weeks now. Okay. And I saw something about being able to use your phone as like the bow in the violin mode. Yeah, uh, that's that's called iBow. Okay. Um, I have the iPad plugged into it right now, so I won't show you that feature okay. right here and now. But essentially, you're using your iOS, your iPhone, as the virtual bow to control your attack and sustain of the notes while you're fretting your notes with that the, is such the a neck. great like <laughs> future con like right on the razor's edge of really cool and like kind of dumb right I love it it's <laughs> like really the glasses you're wearing yes these snapchat spectacles <laughs> yes um, so yeah I mean bring out mine yeah look and you got your strap on there which yeah. is great so uh, you got <laughs> let's just jam out I don't want to play the guitar um, so how much is this Oh, okay, these are three hundred ninety nine bucks. There's a this is the white one. There's a black one, mm -hmm. sort of like matte black, pretty pretty awesome. And there's a strap and a case, and there's an app uh, for iOS and desktop. So we're in, we're a startup, so we keep it simple. That's that's what's on the menu. So this is the first product from you guys. Anything? So future products going forward will also be music related. Yes, everything's under this umbrella of what we call like casual music making, everyday music making, casual mm -hmm. creativity, just helping people get the music that's in their head out into the world by fun, inspiring, intuitive nice. means. Can I borrow your cable? Yeah. To get this? You bet. Nice. Oh, we're going to make such a beautiful noise. <laughs> um, so I would like it to be in piano, and I think the most vapor wavy sound. OK, here's piano, and then here's the sounds. Triangle. There we go. All right, show us what you got. 
Oh, that's very loud. <laughs> That's a little number called 420 Macintosh Plus by, uh, <laughs> by Floral Shop. It's so by being in <laughs> piano, you, you have in, in, a, in a method we call grid. Mm -hmm. So you have this whole fingerboard laid out where each one of these is a note, and you can tune it any way you want. So you have it tuned uh, sort of like a, like a chromatic grid, mm -hmm. but we can tune it like a guitar. So if you just plop down a D chord or an A chord or whatever. My fingers are dumb. There we go. And you don't need to strum that or pick that. You just plunk your fingers down. We okay. call that tap technique. So you, this is getting into that idea of combining the, the method and the technique and the sound mm -hmm. to create new combinations and design a preset, which you can then hit save, and you get this library of all these instruments that you've designed for yourself. Let me ask you a question that you're not going to like. Android version of this app. Mm. Interestingly, people are finding ways to plug the Instrument One into Android music making apps because, like you said, it speaks MIDI, which is a universal language for electronic music. That said, we don't have an Android app yet, and so and our support of it is experimental as well. But um, people are inventive and they're figuring that out ways out, to, like, to we, hack we it. Talking on the phone, um, I've been using it with uh, GarageBand, which is uh, detailed on the site, but also with FL Studio, yes. which. Um, it has not been tested, but it worked fine. It's cool. all MIDI, so... Great. Yeah, so. yeah. that's part of what is kind of scalable about all this, is you have your plug-and-play app where it just does it out of the box, mm -hmm. but if you want to plug it into your music, digital music workstation of choice, it's going to play nicely. And I'm glad that's been working well for you with uh, FL yeah. Studio. That's yeah. a great piece of software. So yeah, I've already, um, I've already used this. I've written a thing about it on the site, on geek.com. Um, geek.com. Get, subscribe to the newsletter. I don't have a transition for that. Just subscribe to the newsletter. newsletter. You'll get articles about things like this and whatever. Just do it. Just do it. Who doesn't love a good newsletter? I love, I love a good newsletter. Yeah. Um, cool. I'm going to make more noise with this. Do this it. This is real cool. So you got your triangle wave, which yeah. I really like. Um, here, if you really want to space out, too, I'd say we turn the arpeggiator on. Yeah. Um, so arpeggiator is just a fancy way of saying it's like auto playing or cycling through notes. So. Any notes that you hold down now, it's going to cycle through them in a, at a set BPM. So pick a couple notes. It's like the end of 2001. Yeah, where you see yourself as an old man. Yeah. Oh, like Greg Miller, right over here. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Is this a good soundtrack to your Batman Legos? He's lost in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's... Oh, <sorry. laughs> Immersed in creative flow. That's what, that's what it's all about. Nice. And like a square wave. Oh, here's another thing that's pretty fun you may have been exploring with. So you know on now you're getting the iPhones you have for. force touch, which is that pressure sensitivity, the Z-axis down onto the screen. Mm -hmm. We have pressure sensitivity also, so with a sound, especially like this square wave sound, has a really nice pressure sensitive thing to it. So the harder you press, it's going to influence and okay. change the it's dynamic like a, of the sound. It's like an acid flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, comments about the instrument one, leave them. We'll ask Social Pete. Meanwhile, we'll just keep making noise until they tell us to stop. <coughs> I gotta put the strap on. I don't know why I have it. I don't even bother. There's so many chords. So let's do a... Uh, I don't know how to play guitar, but I can try. So... Here it's... Oh. Thank you. If you're gonna do it, let's make sure you look good. Here we go. So if I want to make a, like a vaporwave guitar... Uh-huh. I'm gonna go to guitar mode. Uh huh. I'm gonna put triangle. Mm hmm. And um, I got I already messed. I've been messing around with this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You seem to know your way around. Um, more. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was the 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 chromatic the the different um chromatic like scaling. I think it was. Oh, the you mean like the capo? Uh, how it's tuned. Oh yeah. Okay. So here's our tunings. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, here we go. Okay, great. Um, so what Hawaiian A, I'm a fan of. Nice. Hawaiian A with a triangle wave. Yeah. Nice. I like I'm some sort of cyber beach. Yeah. And you can just bar your finger down on any fret and, and create a new chord. So in this screen right here, we have just like a couple dozen different tunings. Guitar, violin, uh, ukulele, mandolin, lap steel. I secretly play like Hawaiian lap steel guitar, so nice. I really like the C6 tuning. <laughs> so nerdy. Um, so this is the, this is the, the 
the sort of the last layer on the on the cake here is you pick any tuning you want, you lay it out however you want. And if you want to just strum an open chord, strum an open chord. All right, well, we're out of time. So thank you so much, Jacob, for showing up. Thanks. Um, you sound great. Check it out. Buy it.